Roland George quarantined for two weeks after he tested positive for COVID. I couldn't go, I couldn't be around my sisters, my mom, my dad, my brother. Roland says he got COVID from his sister. Um, my sister was with her friend and yeah, some of them had it and so she contracted it, so then I caught it. When one person tests positive, many others are also often affected. Contact tracing is now part of Dr. Catherine Clofus's job as assistant principal. So for one, for one person, it can take anywhere from five minutes to 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes all day, depending on how many contact, how much contact tracing I have to do. Risk manager Skylar Fontenot says contact tracing involves tracking down people who are close to the person who tested positive. The infectious period starts 48 hours prior to symptoms to the date of isolation. So you have to determine what that date is and then at that point once you establish your date, you basically um, identify any student or employee that was closer than six feet for 15 or more minutes per 24 hours. Clovis says most of the spread of COVID-19 happens outside of school. If we have a, a school situation, we have a lot less kids going home from a direct contact at school. It's usually something outside of school. So say for instance, mom got it, your friend, your boyfriend, or whatever the case may be. Those are the most of the direct contacts that we see. We don't see a lot of them within the school itself. Even though some teens don't like wearing their masks, they still do to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. At your service, Connor Harper, KPLC, Teen Report.